before I go to Cosmo. Here they ask which of the following would most improve your experience with Vector. This is the slide. Look at that. Look at the blue bar. Initial sentence, shape sentence, polish sentence. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Daniel. I have a huge update to give you today on the Overdrive racetrack, on Vector, on Cosmo, even on Butter Robot. There is a lot that will happen now, so it's a long video. If you have no interest in Overdrive, I'll put some uh, time marks in the video description so you can skip directly to Vector or even Cosmo if you don't have a, a Vector. So a lot happening here. I have pictures of Cosmo 2.0 to show you. Vector and Cosmo will be on Amazon soon, uh, AR, uh, lots of stuff as you will see. So this was the webinar. All the information I'm going to show you now is from the webinar of April 24th. So, of course, the slides are proprietary of um, DDL, but I'm going to show you here um, what they presented. They may have a, um, a recording on the DDL website, but I'm not sure if they're going to go show the slides or just a, a audio recording. So I'm not totally sure about that. But anyway, I'm going to show you uh, some slides and... Um, it's good. I like the webinar from DDL. It's not only one guy talking. So you will see Jacob, you will see Matt, uh, you will see Robbie, of course, about uh, Vector, and Brian. I'm not sure if Brian is new. First time, I think it's the first time I saw him. Uh, Brian will give an update on, um, I think, Cosmo he did, and, but especially Butter Robot. So you have to see this. So when the webinar started, this is the first uh, slide that they showed. And, um, of course, they tell people, uh, oh, by the way, if you look at the bottom here, you see a comment. This one is from Jamie. This happened during the whole time I took uh, screenshots. People were commenting, like, nonstop. And sometimes it was, <laughs> it was funny. Uh, so, uh, all attendees are muted. Uh, there was a Q&A &A at uh, the end. Uh, they will say here they will share a recording. But like I said, I'm not sure if it's a full recording with the slides. That's why I want to show some pictures. And I'm sure that some pictures will not be on the uh, DDL website. Now, throughout the presentation, they did polls, which is interesting. For the first one, I didn't have the time to take a picture of the question. So you will see here the answers in the next slide. So the question was, how many or what products from DDL do you own? So in my case, I clicked on Vector, Cosmo, and Overdrive. And look at the answers. Look at that. I was expecting more people having Cosmo because Cosmo has been around for a longer time than Vector. But look at that. 74% of people attending this uh, webinar has a uh, vector or have a vector. So this was the agenda, like I said, Overdrive, Vector 2.0, Cosmo 2.0, and Butter Robot. So let, let's jump into it with uh, Overdrive. What's key about Overdrive is the infinite drive. And here they say infinite drive, but when they were talking, they were saying infinite with a T. So I'm not sure what will be the final uh, name, but What's interesting is that they will have a piece of track that will charge your car. So as you race, as you know now, you can race just for like, I think typically, if I remember, my track is about 12 minutes. Then you have to charge the cars for another like 15 minutes. So this new track will charge your car as you drive over that track for like half a second. So you can basically run like all day. That's why they call it infinite drive. Also, they will have AR. And I want to talk about that. I posted a video about two years ago uh, of a app called Magic Drive. And I have a picture here to show you on the screen. It's in my playlist, by the way. So the developer sent me a file that I printed, as you can see here, at uh, Staples. And I was basically helping him with promoting his new app. And as you can see in the picture, the track is real, the poster in the middle is real, but the volcanoes, of course, are not. So on your phone, as you race, you see the volcanoes with the smoke coming out uh, when you shoot uh, 
weapons with your cars, you actually should see the weapons being fired. This is very cool AR. Uh, but this was a independent developer and I checked before doing this video and I did not see the app anymore on the App Store or on uh, Android on the on the Play Store so I don't know what happened to uh, to this app so um, Matt here or it's actually Brian was showing pictures here of AR so this could be here they're showing here the background looks like a street as if you're doing street racing and he was showing pictures of like characters they can add uh, as you race. But again, the example I showed you was volcanoes in the middle of the racetrack. I think this was very, very cool. Now, Vector 2.0, uh, they gave updates on the Escape Pod and OSKR. Uh, there will be also a sticker pack, and I have a, a few pictures to show you about that. Jacob during the presentation showed a screenshot of his uh, computer screen um, so that was uh, interesting now public documentation is interesting for some of you guys who want to do more coding and if you're looking for info on Victor on how to code with Python for example the documentation is scarce um, is rare you, you don't find a lot so they are apparently working uh, on documentation to make it more available to again like I said to some of us who uh, need it the escape pod apparently they will add and I have a note here because they were not it's not all on the slides the escape pod will allow vector to connect to smart devices I'm not sure if it will be now or coming in the future but imagine if you say hey vector turn on turn on the light in the kitchen I mean that's cool the OSKR they said that they found the code and I don't know if the codes were hidden by Enki I, I don't know but anyway they say they found the code for all the animations from firmware 1.0 to 1.7 so 1.0 of course was when Enki was in business so with all that apparently they will make the code if i understood correctly the code available for the oskr to allow people to build on that and to code more animations more sounds so i think this is great and let me show you here actually let me show you first delivery times like i said at the beginning vector will be on amazon starting mid-july there is one thing here you need to know is that if you pre-ordered your vector before February 1st shipments will start May 15 or mid May so I should receive my vector around well from mid May so maybe end of May um, you were also getting a lifetime subscription when you pre-ordered but if you did not pre-order and you order from Amazon you will probably not have a lifetime subscription to the servers so that's one, one thing you should be aware of now before I switch to Cosmo let me double check my list here it's a good thing I double check my list because a very important point coming up is vector will be able to recognize other vectors this is very cool this will not be available right away but it will come in the in the future also they're talking about the robot activity slider in the app in my case and some of you guys have said so my vector doesn't seem to be very active and I don't know why I think he was more active like a year ago I don't know if it's the firm the latest firmware update but with this slider activity slider you will decide how active you want your ve vector to be also they will have a no wake up feature at night which is useful for some of you who leave your vector on during the whole day basically so I think this is it for vector oh and then uh, Jacob the CEO showed the few pictures here of uh, what they mean by the, um, the um, limited edition sticker pack so you can see here the back of vector the side and um, and the next poll before I go to Cosmo 
Here they ask which of the following would most improve your experience with Vector. And we can see my vote here. I voted for more animations and sound. I think this is what most of you guys would like with your Vector, right? Now look at the answers. Most people voted for, although it's close, voted for robot-to-robot -robot interaction, 30%. More animations and sound got 25%. Now, I disagree. If I was working at DDL, I would put my effort on more animations and sounds because not many people have more than one vector. I know some do. I see it in my comments. But most of us have only one vector. So we don't care about vector interaction with another vector. And I think this is it. Yeah, this is it for a vector. Now, let's talk about uh, Cosmo. All right, I just reloaded my uh, pictures here and I have my sheet for Cosmo. So for Cosmo, basically, the, the delivery schedule is similar to uh, Vector. And uh, they gave an update by showing a picture. Look at that. This is the new Cosmo 2.0. Look at the uh, color scheme. And this is the box. Look at that. The charger is going to be white, not uh, dark gray in, uh, in the future. The... Um, and this is the delivery uh, dates over here. Like I said, similar to Vector. Uh, you will get with pre-orders the coding workbook to help people do some coding using a Scratch-like uh, software in the app, in the Cosmo app. Uh, and what else can I say about Cosmo? Oh, yes. Of course, Amazon, right? You can see it on the slide. Amazon will have uh, Cosmo in around mid-July. What was missing in the presentation is AR with Cosmo. Because Cosmo has a camera, and with the app, we can see what Cosmo sees in the Explorer mode. And I did a few videos on that. And about a year ago, I gave an update where I heard from DDL that they would be working on AR for Cosmo. There was no update on that. So... Hopefully, at the next webinar, they will say something about that. If they don't, I'm going to ask the question because I just saw that at the end of the webinar. Otherwise, I would have asked the question right there because to me, that's probably the upgrade number one for Cosmo to have AR. Now, I think this is it for Cosmo. Now, Butter Robot. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm laughing because Brian... And I think it was the first time I saw Brian, like I said at the beginning. But Brian said some stuff like, really, guys, I hope that some of you can understand the slide I'm going to show you in a few seconds. And it's about garbage brain. Um, but before I show you the slide, <laughs> I have to say, Brian said, I'm quoting, unique to robotic space, good humor. Smart sentences. So, this is the slide. Look at that. Look at the blue bar. Initial sentence, shape sentence, polished sentence, neural net, Markov chain. I have no idea what Markov chain is, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have no idea. Markov. Don't know. But from what, and you can see a picture of Brian at the top of the slide. From what I can understand, Butter Robot will be an, a robot for adult and will, will be able to have kind of smart sentences. I'm not sure about a smart, con a smart conversation, but it will be smart sentences. I'm laughing because, like, uh, I don't know. And apparently, from what I can see here, you will need uh, access to a server for a Butter Robot to uh, function. And what is the next slide about Butter Robot? Oh yeah, look at that here. For some of us who uh, pre-ordered before February 1st, they will uh, ship starting May, uh, May 15th. And uh, looks like uh, Butter Robot will be available at select retailers. They don't say Amazon in this case in uh, mid-October uh, and you can see here the price is increased to 249 I'm not sure what was the original price for a better robot I could not find it but they see here the price will be 249 or 250 basically and that is uh, of course 
US dollars. The next slide is interesting and I did not mention that at the beginning and I should have. It's the future of Cosmo. And again, look at the comment at the bottom. Like I said, it was difficult for me to take a screenshot with people commenting all the time. But look at David. He says, I want them all. <laughs> David, if you're watching this video, I fully agree. And they did a poll. Look at that. They did a poll here. And I'll show you the answer after. What type of robot would you like to see the DDL team develop next? The flying drone robot? the wheel racer robot, the, quadru the quadruped robot, the sphere robot, or the home automation robot? Can you guess what the answer was? Oh, I can tell you. I voted for flying drone robot because, as you know, on my channel, I have a lot of stuff about drones. Look at the answers. Look at that. 46% of people on the webinar agree with me. A flying drone robot is what they would like to see. 28% in second place, home automation robot. Yeah, that should not be difficult because once you have Vector um, connected to Alexa the way it is now, then you should be able to control your devices just like Alexa does. Oh, and I forgot to mention, they have a, in the plan also to have Vector uh, interact with Google Home, not just Alexa. Next slide. I think this is the next slide. Let me double check. Yeah. And um, I want to spend a few, <laughs> a few seconds. And I'm laughing again because I see Butter Robot on this slide. Now look at that. If you know about DDL, you know that they, their first business was puzzles. And this is pre-K stuff, like simple games for pre-K students. They put Cosmo here at the grade school, although if you do a lot of coding, you could be in middle school and still um, have fun with Cosmo. They show Vector here as, as a high school, but again, you could have Vector in grade school or a middle school. But look at Butter Robot, adulthood. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm thinking again of what Brian was saying about the smart sentences. And I cannot wait to see more examples of that. So like I said, this is my last slide. So guys, this is it. I hope you found my uh, update interesting. Uh, if there is something I did not mention, maybe, well, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I have the, uh, the answer. And just double checking here for Cosmo and Butter Robot. Uh, no, I think I got everything. Oh, a big shout out to uh, Apple Crumble, one of my uh, viewers. So here you go. So thank you guys for watching and uh, hope to see you soon on my channel. Have a great day. Goodbye.